Hello friends. Uh, today I'm planting some more seeds for fall and I just thought I'd do a really uh, chill sort of vlog style bonus video. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm gonna plant. Where did I put my seeds? So today we are planting um, peas. So I've got the Magnolia Blossom Tendril Pea. Honestly, I bought these just for the flowers, but they look really pretty. Uh, I've got some Sugar Ann Snap Peas from Baker Creek. Um, Purple Top White Globe Turnip from Baker Creek. Actually, everything's from Baker Creek. I might throw in some Dragon Tongue Bush Bean Seeds. I had some starts that I'm gonna put in the ground, but I might do a couple more seeds too. And then I have some parsnips and carrots. They're Little Fingers carrots from MI Gardener. And the Half Long Guernsey parsnip. So these are gonna go in my planter that Phil just made for me, but I don't actually have soil in it. So either I'm gonna go get soil or I'm gonna get Phil to bring me home some soil today. So, uh, yeah. I've got my planner with the plan. So this is my planting log of what days. So I've already written what days I need to plant things and then um, I do a check mark if I did it. And then this is the layout so I can see where things go. Okay, so here are my peppers. And in this area, I'm planting a lot of beets and turnips. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, I can plant them sort of in the corners, like around the peppers. And so as they grow up, by the time they're big enough that I need to pull the peppers out, the peppers will hopefully be done or close to done. So I've already, around this pepper, have planted beets a couple weeks ago. And then on the other side of it, I'm gonna put some turnips. That was easy. Don't mind my pajama bottoms. It's a rainy, yucky day and I have no plans, so, other than this. And so, I was not gonna put jeans on. Actually, all my jeans are in the wash, so I couldn't put jeans on even if I wanted to. Next, we are planting um, the peas and I'll turn the camera around. So I'm planting them in this hole that was supposed to be cucumber, but that didn't happen. Uh-oh. Dang it. So, um, I don't know when I'm gonna put out this video. It'll either be Thursday or Monday, so depending on when I put this out, it'll either be just before or just after my 10th garden tour. And basically, something that happened in the garden tour is I found a tomato hornworm. My first ever tomato hornworm. It was horrifying. And I just found another one and I'm seeing signs of another one. So, while we're out here, Let's go tomato hornworm hunting. I ordered a black light, so that will be here soon. There he is, see him? Luckily, they're tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny, they're little. They're like the size of my pinky. Ew, they're so creepy though. Oh, and look, we're gonna get a two for one because there's a Japanese beetle on here too. Oh, just kidding, he flew away. <laughs> so how I noticed that he was there is, I saw this. Mm, let's see if it'll focus. So this 
is tomato hornworm poop. And so I'm just gonna take off that leaf so that I know I have seen that poop. And I'm gonna go get my clippers and we're gonna just cut that branch right off and get rid of him. Okay, so it's a little bit later. Um, my baby peeked all over me, and so I had to change my outfit. And I'm at a garden center, and we're gonna get some dirt for the carrot and parsnip box. So. Let's go. Okay, so I just got all the dirt here. I'm gonna fill the carrot box and we're gonna plant some seeds. Uh, looks like it's gonna storm, so I better be quick. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few rows of parsnips and carrots because this is my first succession. So every two weeks I'm going to come back and I'll plant some more. Just like I'm doing with the beets and the turnips. I also have extra mulch so I will probably mulch over this but I think it's going to rain tonight and so I'm just going to let it um, compact down and I'll mulch it in the morning. Okay, so I've done one, two, three, four rows of carrots, and then one, two, three, four rows of parsnips. And of course, I forgot to bring my tags out, so they won't be labeled, but hopefully I don't forget where they are. That's why this video is going to be helpful. Oh, I'm starting to feel raindrops. I think while I'm out here, before this rain comes, which I can literally feel it, I'll do a quick cleanup of all the um, tomato plants that I pruned today. Guys, look at this giant freaking bug in my garden. Can I get it to zoom in on it? That's like not a bug, that's a freaking dog. That is wild. What is that? That's crazy. Also, I'm definitely seeing hornworm damage on one of my San Marzanos. I don't see the worm. I'm trying to look for poop, but I don't see anything. I went through today and super heavily pruned so they don't have as many places to hide, but I haven't been able to really get deep in there. If I'm being completely honest, I've been a little bit afraid. 
I wonder if that big bug is like a cicada. I don't want to get too close to it. Dang. Hi friends, editing Sarah here. Uh, so I did my research. At first I thought it was a cicada because it was really big. And I know cicadas are in my area, but I've never seen one before. And also it was making like a clicking sound. So I'm like, oh, it must be like, it's like a cricket. So maybe it's a cicada. And I didn't think it was a hornworm moth because I didn't see like the very distinct white and black patterning on the wings. Um, and also I didn't realize that they were that big. Like I figured they were big, but I didn't know they were that big. But my eyes aren't great that time of day and I'm not good at seeing distance. So I wonder if it was there, I just couldn't see it. Um, long story short, I'm pretty, pretty sure it was the hornworm moth. And so I should have destroyed it with fire and all the other things. But I didn't. So next time I see it, I'm going to go get my hose and blast the crap out of it. Because there's no way I'm touching that thing with my hands. I wonder if that bug is the super loud cricket I heard in my um, good, bad, and ugly video. I don't know if any of you watched that, but... I was filming and all of a sudden it was the loudest cricket noise I've ever heard. And I was like, dang, that cricket's really loud. And I wonder if it was that guy. Kind of freaks me out. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if one of those things flew at your head? I'm sure people who live in the south are like, wow, Sarah, grow up. You, uh, that's nothing. That bug is like teensy. But I live in Canada, guys. Like, none of our bugs try to kill you. At least not where I live. That thing looks like it could eat me for freaking dinner. I'm going to pick some beans for dinner and go and make my dinner because I'm starving. Yeah, that's a great plan. It's a really good plan. So, you guys don't want to watch me pick beans. I will... See you next time. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope your garden looks absolutely beautiful and we'll see you again soon. Bye.